So welcome and thank you for joining our August Physics Matter Colloquium. So this is the 34th heavens since its creation in December 22, or 2020, sorry. So this colloquium so is prepared by the Forum of International Physics at the American Physical Society in the framework of the program Physics for Development. Our popular science forum is accessible and open to anyone around the globe with the possibility to exchange with key scientists leading the physics in the world. So engaging in science and physics as a vector for sustainable development, that's our goal. So we want to promote international collaboration and to tackle the quest of physics curiosity. So visit our webpage where you can learn much more from renowned international scientists showing why physics matters. And today for the first time, so we have the chance to connect with experts in China and to discuss the quest for safer energy production using particle accelerator and nuclear principle with accelerator driven system. This is a new technology and you will hear everything about that. So now I will introduce the member of our panel. So with Andrea Lossi, who is uh, the scientific director of the Sesame Lloyd Source in Jordan. So we have for the FIP, uh, so my name is Christine Dove. I'm an engineering scientist at the European Spanish Source in Sweden, and I'm the chair of the FIP. We have as well with us, so Alan Hurd from Los Alamos and Johnny Mela from the ICTP. And our guest of honor today is uh, Professor Han Yi. So Professor Yi, he graduated in Lanzo University in 95 as a doctor engineer of the graduated school of the Chinese Academy of Science with a major in nuclear technology. He is uh, the director of the Linux Center in the Institute of Modern Physics and working on the high power superconducting Linux accelerator an accelerator-driven advanced nuclear en energy system called the Adamse. So he led the construction of the Chinese ADS front-end demo facilities called CAFE. I don't know if I pronounce it correctly. So this was since 2011. And that research facility aims at demonstrating the feasibility of the key technology and the integration of operational experiment of the high power superconducting LINAC for the accelerator-driven subcritical system. So now he's the chief engineer and responsible for the technical, um, the project uh, Chinese initiative, accelerator driven system. And uh, is, this is a, a lead bismuth a subcritical nuclear reactor driven by a 2.5 megawatt proton LINAC constructing in Hanzhou. So with uh, that short introduction, so for the logistics, so we will wait for the question um, to answer them at the end of the presentation. You have uh, the little question and answer and raise hand uh, below those table, and you will have possibility to write down so your question during the presentation. So thanks a lot uh, for joining. And now, so, uh, so Professor He Young, so the floor or the screen is yours. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you for invitation and to give the presentation, share my uh, opinion uh, on the clean nuclear uh, uh, energies. And my talk today is about uh, accelerator driving systems, uh, a solution to multiple problems of a society. So, uh, as we know, climate change is the most uh, challenge of uh, humanities. And uh, uh, so how to, uh, to resolve the uh, uh, climate uh, problem, uh, nuclear energy play a key uh, role. But uh, uh, existing nuclear energy has some problems. How can we resolve it and by accelerator? And we will share our opinions and uh, also introduce the challenge of uh, the accelerator and uh, the project of uh, CIDS in China. And uh, so, 
uh, we can see from the uh, picture and you know, since 19, uh, eight, 1950s, and human uh, uh, activities have caused climate change and precedented uh, in, uh, rapidly uh, in record history. Last decade is the warmest, uh, uh, in the warmest day in the last uh, 100,000 years. Global temperature race is uh, speeding up. And uh, so uh, global uh, warming, it's a, a very serious problem now nowadays. And uh, it caused lots of troubles. For example, the sea level increased by uh, 0.2 meters. And uh, between uh, uh, in the last uh, 100 years, more extreme weather events happened uh, uh, year by year, and the ocean uh, acidification and uh, the de oxy uh, uh, de oxygenation. And a lot of things uh, may caused by the, um, uh, the carbon uh, emission. So there is uh, agreement in Paris about uh, how to hold the increased uh, uh, global average temperature below uh, two degree and uh, above uh, uh, pre-industrial levels and, uh, and uh, maybe uh, even less than the 1.5 degree. And uh, there is a lot of uh, uh, efforts stayed by uh, humans and uh, the 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 co uh, um, as to how to reduce uh, greenhouse uh, emissions and uh, from all the energies we can see the nuclear energy is uh, uh, lowest uh, uh, energy and to uh, uh, to uh, emit emit the uh, greenhouse gas and uh, so and uh, uh, even even the nuclear, uh, not only the uh, lowest uh, uh, carbon emission, but also the uh, nuclear energy, it's uh, 24 hours uh, per seven days uh, avail uh, available and is, is able ability to operate flexibility and to 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 be a basic energy to for the um, how to uh, for the, the renewable energy uh, uh, sources, and uh, so. <clears throat> but uh, so the public uh, is always various about the nuclear safety and the nuclear waste caused. Uh, so it caused uh, a wave of anti-nuclear attitude. If we. Um, <clears throat> We see the uh, from the Google trends. We see the uh, attitude of uh, uh, public to the nuclear safety and the nuclear waste uh, in the last uh, twenty years, and it uh, goes down. And uh, but uh, the uh, academic uh, articles on the topic of nuclear waste, uh, we can see it's uh, rising up uh, uh, year by year. And uh, but. Uh, um, so nuclear uh, problem, it's, um, it's still a public uh, various, various things. Uh, Germany, um, so some energy policies uh, distributed by some uh, uh, countries. Uh, for, for instance, uh, Germany said we, uh, it has uh, abandoned uh, completely the nuclear and the Italian had abandoned completely. Switzerland to withdraw on step-by-step -step, uh, basis uh, by 2050, and Belgium also. And uh, so, but, uh, but uh, the, the development of new, uh, a human, hu human uh, society need uh, uh, power, nuclear power. So it's uh, gaining support after years of a decline. And uh, nowadays, 52 more reactors and the construction. And around 30 new countries are looking at nuclear energy to meet their power and the climate needs. And so we can see the nuclear power is coming back in many countries. Uh, for example, uh, after uh, 
accident of Fukushima, uh, Japan still is uh, um, thinking about a restart uh, as many existing reactors as possible and uh, prolong the operating lifetime uh, beyond 60 years limit. And uh, Belgium also, and uh, But uh, we cannot uh, ablate uh, the problems of existing nuclear uh, problems. And uh, how, what is the problem uh, facing the nuclear energy today? And uh, uh, nowadays we have 450 uh, nuclear reactors operating in 30 countries. And uh, so <clears throat> the capacity of nuclear is around uh, 10%. It's a one of the main uh, low carbon electricity power. And uh, so, but uh, there is, uh, there are some accidents, uh, uh, for example, Three Mile Island and Chernobyl and Fukushima have per profound impacts on the development of nuclear power. And it's also the, uh, the in uh, in influence and to the society and the environment still uh, very serious. And uh, uh, people still discussing about the uh, nuclear waste uh, uh, water and uh, 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 from uh, the Japan. Uh, and uh, so, but I would think uh, the most uh, uh, important pro problem is uh, the how the uh, contamination of the uh, nuclear reactor uh, uh, waste. The current technology and uh, pressure water reactor, for example, and uh, how we get how we can get the um, uh, the fuel and eight tons of natural uranium will produce the one ton of uh, nuclear uh, fuel. Uh, but only 50 uh, kilograms is uh, burned up into fission products. So that means uh, reusable fuel around 90, uh, 950 uh, kilogram and depleted uh, uranium uh, around 710 has huge untapped uh, potential for nuclear production and that cannot be extracted by a thermal nuclear reactor. Uh, reusable fuel contains a uh, large amount of uh, unused uh, uranium and uh, transuranium elements, uh, which generated in the reactor uh, by the uh, neutron capture. And, and uh, so most of uh, uh, the uh, uh, transuranium elements has a long life and high uh, toxicity uh, 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 long-term harm to human environments. You can see from uh, the the, pan the cake pancake. Uh, and so so most uh, uh, in the in the in the uh, uh, excuse me <laughs> in the waste of. Uh, um, uh, pressure reactor and uh, most of it's uh, uranium two two thirty eight and uh, it's only only five percent is uh, uh, fragments of uh, um, uh, fission and uh, this part is uh, uh, transuranium. Okay, so what uh, is uh, in the spent uh, fuel? And uh, that means uh, reusable fuel plus fission products. This part is on, it's a really uh, uh, waste, but uh, uh, it's uh, extremely difficult to partition the uh, fission products or reusable fuel uh, from uh, fission products. And by end of uh, 19, uh, 2019, uh, around 400 tons of spent fuel and unloaded globally. Um, so, so every year, around 1,000 tons of uh, spent fuel unloaded uh, from uh, around the world. 
So uh, around 80% uh, world storage uh, spent fuel is located in United States and the Western U Europe. So uh, from uh, estimation of uh, UX2, uh, UXC, and by 2035, and so the spent fuel emission will be close to uh, 600 tons. And it's most of them uh, stockpiles uh, in the uh, field of uh, um, uh, nuclear power station. And uh, until now, all spent fuels are stored on site or off site in engineered storage facilities, uh, pending final decisions on its uh, dis uh, disposition. No country has a ge uh, ge geological uh, re repos repository for spent fuel storage or disposal. Uh, neither uh, has most, uh, can, uh, most uh, countries decided on how to final decision for spent fuel. And uh, some uh, test facilities uh, was uh, were building uh, is building are building in the countries, for example, in the Finland and uh, uh, in the Swiss and the, uh, in the Yucca Mountain in America and the North uh, Mountain in Gansu province of China. And uh, uh, this facility will be, uh, uh, it started, was started in 2021. But uh, geological uh, disposal is not a feel, uh, feel safe solution, we think. And because the site uh, requires uh, it's stable for millions of years and the low underground water content and uh, a small floor and uh, more things. And the uh, disposal uh, warehouses of a disposal system must uh, stay uh, safety over hundred, hundreds of thousands of years or even longer time scales. And the uh, high radiation waste container, uh, this one, and it uh, must re uh, remain inactive for hundreds of thousands of years and uh, maintain stable and uh, uh, at a high temperature and because of decay heat. And what means hundreds, hundreds of thousands of years? That means uh, at that time, before hundreds of thousand years, and uh, we still um, use stock, uh, stake, and the stones in uh, under uh, grassland of Africa. So it's a very long, uh, long time, and it cannot be uh, imagine uh, imagination. And uh, so, so that is a problem of current nuclear energy means, and that a lot of uh, uh, different type of reactors, and we can see most of them as only um, the the uh, utilized of a few is only one percent. So that means the technology is still primitive. primitive. Large amount of uh, potential useful nuclear resources left behind, and spent few, and unused resources and uh, uh, fission uh, uh, products, and uh, pose the environment hazards. So directly, uh, ge 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 geological uh, disposal of spent few carry unknown risks for hundreds of thousand years. And uh, so how to uh, reduce the problems? So we think ADS may be the answer. So why ADS is the solution to nuclear energy? So we can see the uh, what happens in the nuclear reactions in the reactor. And uh, there is a lot of uh, uh, reactions in the reactor and the fission of nuclear fuel is the main reaction process. And, but uh, except that for that, and the neutral uh, capture and the decay are important way of uh, trans transition between nucleates. And uh, so in fact, there are hundreds of reactions channels between nu uh, neutrons and uh, uh, few nuclide. And so there is a cycle in the, uh, in the reactor and uh, there is a lot of reactions. And uh, so, and uh, that means uh, 
that a lot of different uh, nuclei will be uh, um, uh, or goes out from uh, the reactor. And uh, that means spent fuel. And the spent fuel uh, include a lot of things. And especially for some transuranium elements, that's main toxicity things. And but if we uh, dispose all the uh, spent fuel and uh, go decay, that means this one uh, buried in the in the earth spent fuel can only be uh, converted into stable uh, nuclei such as lead or bismuth through a long decay chain, like, like this one and this one, and. Uh, that the energy around the 60 uh, uh, MeV will release from the decay chain and the, uh, uh, for the uh, decay heat. And the actinized elements have a long life of several hundreds to 10,000 years and the uh, natural de uh, degradation cycle of over a million years. The decay of uh, actinized elements continues to release alpha particles and the gamma rays and uh, cause long-term harm to the uh, ecological environment. So how to, re to do that? Incinerate uh, spent fuel uh, um, uh, and uh, undergo sufficient and actinized in the spent fuel can be efficiently and uh, effectively uh, utilized through fission and uh, automatically and being converted into fission fragments by this we and so and there are uh, 200 uh, MeV energy will be released uh, from a fission uh, a reaction and uh, so for the fission reaction uh, fragments whose uh, half-life and uh, toxicity are much smaller than those uh, transuranium elements can be rapidly uh, degraded. So the concentrate uh, uh, combustion of uh, transuranium uh, uranium elements in reactor can fully util utilized and the fission products uh, capture and the, the uh, reusable fuel will be uh, completely incinerated on the scale of 10 years. So that means uh, the, uh, the uh, lifetime uh, reduction uh, from the uh, dark dot and to the red dot to rapidly uh, uh, down to the neutral uranium uh, uh, dose below that. So uh, how can we get this uh, uh, fission um, from the reactor? We need a, a fast reactor, fast neutron is ideal for the uh, burning transuranium elements. And uh, it has a large fission cross-section and uh, produce more neutrons per reaction. And we can see from these pictures and uh, that's the cross-section of uh, faster uh, neutron cross-section uh, for the transuranium elements. And uh, so in this case, the capture to fission ratio of uh, MAs uh, uh, actinized, it's, a, it's, a, uh, it's a lower. So that means uh, most of uh, um, um, uh, actinized will be uh, will be fission, uh, and uh, so uh, so uh, in the fast reactor, the uh, um, uh, minor actinized will be reduced uh, easily. Uh, uh, it's it, it's really easily achievable. But uh, it's a it's a good things, but it's uh, some drawbacks of uh, in the fast uh, neutron uh, uh, reactors. And uh, unfortunately, there are two types of uh, neutrons in the uh, reactors. One is uh, promote and the, the other one is uh, delay, uh, delayed. And the too many, that what, what means promote neutrons? One, the uh, uh, nuclide, uh, ex, ex, uh, capture um, a neutron and it will uh, uh, be into the two parts and release the neutrons uh, immediately. That means promote. And if, if it stays uh, for a long, uh, relative uh, long time and to release the neutron, that means uh, delayed. And uh, so if in the reactor, a lot too many promote neutrons, that means 
reactor can can go supercritical very quickly, and uh, so, um, but the delayed neutron capped reactor, reactors uh, safety uh, by uh, maintaining the stability, and so we can see the um, uh, the the example from a sodium fast reactor, and uh, so uh, that means we cannot uh, so. For the uh, uh, minor actinized and uh, uh, so protonium, pro, pro, protonium and uh, so this, uh, I mean the uh, such uh, uh, minor actinized and it's a most uh, uh, their efficiency uh, has the most uh, 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 promote uh, neutrons and uh, so the. Uh, MAs cannot be uh, included too much in the fast reactor. And uh, uh, from the simulation, it can at least less than 2.5%. And uh, even 2.5% uh, is uh, considered very risky. And the fast uh, uh, reactor is still not a solution to uh, complete uh, utilization of nuclear fuel or uh, my, um, minimization of uh, radioactive waste. And uh, so, so uh, that means uh, uh, there is a pr uh, promising uh, solutions accelerator driving system. How? What is the acceler accelerator driving system? Uh, ADS uh, consists of uh, accelerators and sublation target and the cre that's accelerator and the target in the center of the reactor. And that's a subcritical reactor. When the proton hit the uh, uh, target, and that's a lot of uh, uh, neutrons, uh, uh, splashing neutrons, and go into the uh, reactor, and the new fission neutrons is end critical. So, so that means uh, ADS works like an energy uh, amplifier. When the uh, uh, ac accelerator stopped, uh, uh, supply the beam, and the uh, power of the uh, uh, reactor will uh, rapidly uh, goes down and to a very safe level, you can see. And for uh, a key effective 0 0.197, and after suddenly uh, lost the beam and the uh, the power will go down under the 0 point uh, the 20 percent so that means uh, with the uh, uh, ADS uh, accelerator a great flex flexibility with re re with respect to the fuel uh, composition and for key effective less than 0 point in the promote neutrons have no influence on the safety control of the reactor. So the beam of the reactor is the only control for the, for the uh, amplifier of uh, uh, energy. So uh, ADS uh, is the named ampli uh, energy amplifier also. And uh, so that's a potential enhances, enhanced safety. So ADS due to the factor that once the, uh, once the accelerator is turned off, uh, the system will shut down immediately. That's a, it's a, uh, additionally uh, safety. And they use this um, uh, merits. We can uh, we can include uh, for any uh, percent of uh, 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 super uh, uranium uh, element elements in the in the fast reactor. So. So the ADS, the concept uh, promote uh, very uh, uh, long time ago. It's almost uh, uh, at the same time as the uh, uh, nuclear energy, and it's a uh, it's uh, has a very long time um, um, uh, evolution and uh, lots of ideas and uh, facilities proposed uh, uh, during the last uh, 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 several ten years. And uh, so we can uh, conclude some uh, uh, special things, uh, folks. Uh, there is some uh, uh, Phoenix uh, concept and uh, ATW. And so uh, in the 2000, uh, uh, 
uh, and uh, so China, we have some uh, um, uh, concept about uh, accelerator driving advanced nuclear energy system. And uh, so we start from uh, uh, CIDS from 2021. And uh, so, so nuclear system, uh, so accelerator uh, with ideal uh, uh, fuel cycle, that means and uh, we have some uh, different concept about uh, the ADS. And uh, we don't uh, 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 find uh, pa uh, partition uh, the um, uh, ur uranium, plutonium, and uh, uh, minor actinized uh, from the uh, uh, FP. And uh, it's not a fine part uh, partition. Uh, it's not uh, uh, required. We call it a robust fuel. And we mixed all the things together. And we put these uh, uh, things together into the uh, advanced uh, uh, burner uh, ADS. Uh, and so extra, ex external neutron driving uh, subcritical, subcritical reactor. That means we can use the uh, breeding and the transmutation and the energy production integrated and use uh, uh, Puma uh, fuel. And so, uh, that's a concept uh, drawing uh, about this uh, uh, this system, and so the uh, fuel will uh, cycled in the systems from a fuel re regeneration system to the subcritical reactors, and uh, uh, we output the energy and only lo a short life uh, uh, fission products will be ex uh, extracted from uh, the system. So that means almost all the natural uh, uh, resources uh, will be used and burns all the spent fuel storage from the current direct systems, reactor systems. And uh, finally, uh, the full utilized uh, nuclear energy resources will be uh, uh, higher than 95% and uh, waste uh, minimization uh, less than 400 years. So that's a, that is an ideal uh, fuel cycle. Uh, but uh, uh, so uh, it's, a, it's a very good thing, but uh, it's a lots of, uh, it's a, a great challenge for the ADS. And uh, it's almost everything has challenged the accelerator target uh, reactor and uh, coupling the three system and the fuel recycle all of things has challenged, but today I only see the challenge about a high power system, high power accelerator. And uh, that means CWB, CWB in around uh, 10 to uh, 30 milliampere and uh, high availability. And uh, for industrial scale ADS, and the CWB in current should be less, uh, uh, a lot than 10 uh, milliampere. And uh, from the very beginning and the concept about 100, 200 milliampere and uh, in 1990s and uh, it's uh, 15 milliampere and uh, nowadays and there is uh, four, three uh, projects. All, all the projects uh, had uh, uh, current it's uh, from 10 to 20 milliampere. And uh, so in 2000 years and uh, the HAPA uh, conference had a conclusion that the superconduct Linux is the best to meet the requirements of uh, ADS. So, so the 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 high power uh, superconduct Linux and uh, and uh, uh, developing in the two uh, twenty years uh, before uh, uh, last twenty years, and uh, the splicing neutron source uh, ramping power. Uh, to 1.4 megawatts from 2008 to 2021. And uh, so, and some, uh, some low energy sup, uh, CW uh, superconduct Linux uh, uh, developing in, uh, uh, in, in the world. And uh, uh, in China, we start from uh, uh, 2011 and we got uh, uh, one, 10 million uh, million CW proton beam in 2021. You can see the uh, talk of uh, uh, um, Zhijun Wang in IPAC uh, 
2023. And uh, so that's the first time we uh, achieved uh, uh, in the su superconductor LENAC, firstly in the world. And for, for industrial scale of ADS, uh, beam chip requirements are strict and uh, time related, related. And there is a table and we can see, and it's almost uh, uh, two older or one or two orders from a, a reality. And we think uh, ADS oriented superconductor uh, should have some uh, general features. Uh, uh, for example, uh, from overall overall system design, and it should should be uh, disturbance uh, isolation. That means no shadow machine, uh, not shadow machine because of a failure of uh, uh, any individual uh, device. Each cavity or solenoid crunch is, is uh, isolated from any others, and the cooling system or structure will not. Uh, Propagation, uh, propagated uh, uh, the uh, disturbance. This means individual independence and nobody is uh, very important. And uh, so the beam like um, elements failure and uh, that's a fault uh, need to be fault compensation. And the beam recovery uh, in second, in, in few seconds, when any other cavity or solenoid failures the lattice can be uh, compensated by other elements and the beam uh, status can be uh, recovered in three seconds. And for the sub subsystem hardware failure, for example, uh, should be faster recovery. And that means beam recovery in milliseconds. And uh, for example, arc uh, phase data and field uh, uh, fluctuation and so on will be re uh, overcome by fast recovery scheme in less than ten tens of a million seconds. And so we give the examples uh, we uh, we did in China and uh, for example, the for high level uh, solid state amplifier and it can be, uh, should be uh, 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 a design goal. Is, uh, so uh, it's non-stop uh, operation and uh, 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 it's obeyed the reliability and availability and the man, uh, maintain, uh, maintainability and the inspirability and the expandability. And so, and so it's uh, standardized uh, and uh, so the structure can be replaced. Uh, each module can be replaced. Uh, that's a power amplifier pallets and it can be re uh, removed in the video and uh, the controller can be removed and the DC supply module can be removed and replaced uh, as quickly as possible. And during the removes uh, replace the pallets or so, uh, modules. And uh, so uh, the, uh, the, the beam will be uh, stopped a uh, very short time and uh, so and uh, the amplifier will remain their uh, function. And uh, so um, we, we imply a, a hybrid fault compensation for some uh, cavity uh, failure. And uh, in this part, the low energy parts, uh, we compa uh, compensate the twist parameters. And um, that means matching uh, the beam. And in the high energy parts, we compensate the energy. And so that's the compensation of uh, uh, hybrid uh, uh, we, and uh, so it can reduce the uh, 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 amplifier power uh, redundancy uh, compared with the normal condition. And the RMS uh, 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 emittance grows less than uh, fifteen percent and output energy stability less than 0.2%. And so uh, that's an example for failure auto recovery. And we can, we, uh, we, separate, uh, we separate the uh, failures into uh, different ways and super for fast recovery and the failure compensation and the handle maintenance. And uh, so, 
and uh, we have a, a, a strategy for the uh, compensate and the CW beam uh, with high power with high powers, and all the strategies uh, has been uh, validated at uh, Cave uh, in MP, and uh, 80, uh, 78 percent of trips are auto recovered uh, during uh, our hundred hours test. And uh, so uh, we maintain uh, uh, beam availability uh, 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 higher than 19%. And uh, with uh, three long, uh, long trips, uh, one time is a bump, a mechanical bump failure, and uh, one is a timing system failure, and the, the other one is a uh, uh, low level IF thesis field. So uh, we think uh, all the things can be done in the future. And uh, so, uh, from 2021, we start a uh, uh, ADS uh, project. It's a, a world first uh, megawatt level pro prototype of ADS in China, and uh, we have several um, uh, terminals. Uh, this terminal, terminal one, is for ADS uh, 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 testing, and the one at 10 megawatt reactor, and the key effective uh, is around 0.96 and 0.75. For this one, we test uh, uh, the high power um, target uh, with 2.5 megawatt. And for this one, we test the, uh, the system as, at, um, as, as a energy amplifier. And we also have some uh, 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 target station about the uh, target and the muon experiment and uh, some uh, material irradiation and uh, nuclear data experiment and the ISO for the future. And all the system now designed for 500 MeV and uh, 5 milliampere. And uh, the total power, uh, including the reactor is uh, to, uh, 10 megawatt. Uh, but in the future, we, we leave the space for the future 2.2 GV and 10 milliampere. And now we start to uh, in uh, from last year to now, and we construct the uh, uh, accelerator buildings. And uh, 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 from now to uh, next year, we construct uh, the reactor uh, and uh, experimental hall. So now the superconducting lineup, we have three, four families of superconducting cavities with 500 MeV and uh, we have some uh, special design for uh, for a uh, very clean high power beam from a uh, room temperature front end and we have some uh, sp special design for uh, superconducting parts and it can be extendable uh, very easily and uh, it's a uh, almost a full scale, uh, full period uh, design and uh, to reduce the uh, 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 growth screws uh, as small as possible. And uh, that's a uh, subcritical fast reactor. It's a lead bismuth uh, reactors, but uh, in the first step, and it's a uh, uranium uh, uh, ox, 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 oxidized uranium uh, uh, fuel and uh, and in the future, it can be uh, 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 most fuel or with uh, or the fuel with uh, uh, super, uh, super uh, uh, uranium. And the, the high power supplication target we start uh, that's a thermal prototype. And uh, in the first, uh, we will have uh, two uh, testing the. Uh, um, power uh, equivalent uh, prototype for the target window. And uh, we hot test uh, terminal for the uh, 250 kilowatt uh, uh, first uh, uh, target in the uh, reactor. And uh, in 2030s, we will have a target for 2.5 megawatt. Nowadays, and uh, here it's a site of uh, uh, construct, uh, civil construction. And uh, it's a uh, uh, Linux uh, uh, terminal it has uh, had almost uh, finished, and uh, we will have uh, uh, equipment uh, uh, in the terminal uh, from the 
end of the uh, 2023, and uh, that's site of reactor four, and it's a experimental four. Um, that's a cryogenic uh, system. And uh, in 2025 uh, uh, and 26, and we will test uh, the accelerator uh, and the target acceptance. And for the acceptance for the whole system is uh, in, in around the uh, 2027. And then we will test the 10 megawatt system coupling and with a key effective around 0.96. And uh, uh, in 2030, and we will test uh, 2.5 uh, megawatt target, and with with key factor around 0.75. And uh, this system will also uh, plan to upgrade to 100 megawatt in the future. And uh, so uh, the conclusion. And the ADS is a solution to multiple problems of a nuclear energy system. It will also help to resolve climate uh, change by reducing carbon emission. ADS is full of challenges, and uh, fortunately, China uh, and Europe and uh, uh, India and Japan are firmly taking the first, first steps. And uh, so CIADS will be uh, constructed uh, within 10 years. It will make the first demonstration of uh, megawatt ADS to pave the way towards the commercial ADS in the future. And uh, the actuator community has a duty to uh, advance uh, su sustainable and uh, advanced uh, sustainable energy and uh, sustainable society. ADS gave us an uh, ideal opportunity to engage in this uh, uh, worthwhile uh, pursuit. Thank you very much. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Extremely comprehensible and complete. So we have a, a good view of um, everything that can be done. So thanks to those accelerator and uh, a well understanding way of uh, handling nuclear. So we have quite a lot of questions from uh, the audience asking in terms of, uh, can you please state uh, the status of accelerator in minimizing the trip rate upon subcritical reactor? So to his knowledge, excessive trip rates are the hurdles for implementing the ADS technology. And you pointing out, I think in the slide 30 to 35, some of uh, those answers. So maybe you could come back to those slides. I saw also in terms of the downtime in the page 30. Yes, five. indeed I have some uh, some way to 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 reduce. Uh, so that is the first uh, 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 part of the question. And so, uh, so now, and uh, there, that's a uh, uh, beam trip requirements and uh, for industrial scale ADS. It's uh, uh, from the uh, white paper of uh, uh, DOE published in 2010. And uh, we think still we have some gap between the gap between the uh, 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 accelerator and the requirements of uh, reactors. Uh, but uh, this one, uh, I think, uh, can be met. This gap can be met by different uh, two ways, and one's from uh, the reactor, and uh, the other from the the accelerator. Uh, we don't think uh, a, an accelerator can be uh, reliable as uh, as I mean, not beam failure, no beam trip. It's impossible. So, we our it. Uh, um, a strat strategy is to reduce uh, uh, failure time as short as possible. That's so we, we design from a three different levels and from a system level and uh, 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 I mean the overall system, so ADS system, accelerated uh, uh, system and some uh, uh, some small uh, devices and some uh, hardware uh, individual hardware some uh, special chips and uh, we can um, we can short the uh, beam trip 
film trip time as short as uh, uh, just a few seconds. And uh, for the, 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 the reactor, and uh, the main uh, trouble to the reactor is uh, uh, thermal stress uh, on the target on, and on the reactors. So, uh, so that means if we have a very um, um, uh, dedicated design on the uh, reactor and the target, we can allow the uh, beam trip just a few seconds. Uh, um, then that means we can meet the gap as small as possible and uh, in the future. So uh, it's not, uh, it's, it's still a lot of a, a gap, but uh, we think it can be, uh, uh, can be done in the future. And it's, uh, it's uh, possible to reduce. And so you so, were doing 93%, yeah. looking at 94.6, uh, I think, for the reliability for the accelerator. Yes, our, uh, yeah. So uh, in our system, it's a, uh, we have a uh, uh, hundred hour operation and we can, uh, we already uh, achieved this one, this value. And so, and all the, uh, 80% of uh, trips will be re is a recovery uh, covered less than 10 seconds. So something like that, yeah. Less than 10 seconds. So that's the yes. the, the downtime, okay. Yeah, yeah the, downtime. I, I had also a question related to that. Uh, I, I don't see the RF being one of the main cause for that downtime. I'm surprised. You yeah. see the, the RF, so do you, classify this as well for the driver of the RF because typically it's really the, the RF power. Mm. Yeah, yeah, there is uh, downtimes. Most of this uh, uh, caused by the RF system. By the and, RF. Uh, yeah, RF system and the uh, ion source uh, uh, arc and uh, some uh, something like that. And the uh, uh, chronogenic system, it's uh, normally it's a, a long time uh, um, uh, okay. shutdown. Yeah. But uh, it's a chronogenic system, it's uh, quite stable, I think. And uh, during our several years, several years operation, it's, a, it's only two times the long term shutdown. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Indeed, it's um, the challenge. Um, and if you want to to add any comments or feel cold, I mean, feel free to to speak up. So we give you the the voice. I, I want to thank you very much for your presentation. This is Philip Cole. Um, and so I pose that question. But one of the things I'd like to also ask is that what I see from your design, you have one accelerator. Would two accelerators uh, be useful in in order to to enhance the reliability of minimizing um, uh, trip rates like they do at Mira, I think. Yes. Yeah. I, I, I also wanted to uh, explain these things. So we have uh, only one accelerator. And so uh, at, uh, Mira has um, um, two injectors and uh, with uh, uh, 17 MeV. And so uh, one uh, injector failure and it used uh, 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 another one to uh, supply the beam. But uh, so we think there is uh, some trouble because that means we need to, uh, if we need to dump some very high power beam somewhere, and uh, uh, if if it's a low power beam, we don't know if uh, uh, this uh, uh, backup line is uh, good or not. If it's a high power beam, that means uh, there is a very, um, I mean, risk things or there. And why we need uh, select a, a, a house only one superconducting line up. And uh, uh, we have some compensation so uh, test over there, and uh, that's our compensation schemes here. We tested with our uh, system uh, already, and uh, if some failure in these parts, it's, it also can be 
uh, compensated and uh, uh, for the beam energy and the trace permit. It's no problem. That means, and uh, so we only have uh, one, uh, one injector is enough, especially for the uh, lower energy superconducting parts. But how about for the room temperature parts? And uh, uh, normally, and uh, we can uh, see uh, the only thing is uh, iron cis, uh, ESR iron source. Uh, is, uh, uh, we, maybe we need to uh, back up. And uh, for this part, uh, RFQ is very stable. And for, from our operation uh, uh, experiments from uh, uh, 2014, uh, the cavity of RFQ has no problem. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's only some arc, but arc can be recovered in just a few milliseconds. And uh, for the uh, amplifier, the amplifier now it's a, uh, uh, it's a, a solid state amplifier. It's almost a, a non-stop. And in this part, and it's a, uh, so room temperature uh, puncher and uh, room temperature, uh, uh, so mag magnet, it's almost uh, no trouble. So we think uh, we don't need back up the room, room temperature also, but uh, if we need, uh, we have two room temperature parts. It's only uh, 20 uh, kilowatts damper. It's, uh, we think it's uh, almost okay, but, uh, but we still, think uh, one injector is enough for the uh, high reliability. <laughs> uh, I, 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 it's, am I uh, make my uh, idea clear? I think it, it, it was really clear. Do, do you think so, Phil, was it okay? Uh, if, if I, yes, if I'm, if I'm live, um, yes, it's a very fine answer. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And, and we could have potentially in another presentation as well, the, the version of Mira. I think we, we had it with the APS as well for the April meeting while we were seeing how accelerator could be used as well for all the different uh, energy solving. And this is why this talk is very complimentary. I can share with you there as well. I could add the slides in the presentation. I think I will do that. That will be valuable as well to compare technology. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In the description. So yeah, thanks a lot for for the question. Uh, so we have another question along the same line as well, but from the target point of view as well. From uh, uh, so someone who are asking, looking at the target, which seems to be very complicated so with the bismuth. So what are the thinking about uh, how to dissipate uh, the heat uh, to avoid local supercritical hotspot? So the cooling of the target. I, I didn't very detail uh, explain, uh, explain our target. We use, uh, uh, how to say, the late uh, liquid uh, uh, business uh, uh, as a target. Uh, yes, um, the target for uh, if we, that's we said, uh, just now I said it's a target has its own problems and uh, it's uh, quite uh, difficult to do that. And uh, so uh, for the target, and uh, if we have uh, uh, only one target, that means that there is, uh, uh, we, we, we wanted to average the power on the target. That means the target, the size is uh, quite large. And that means uh, the reactor should be uh, not very e uh, efficient. And so we are thinking about, um, uh, use a multi-target in the reactor, but uh, you know it's a, it's a, it's still take a long way to do that. And uh, uh, so now we only have one target here, and so the first we test a uh, uh, two zero point twenty five megawatt uh, target uh, beam beam power, and uh, uh, so. Uh, if it can can be done, and maybe in the future, 2.5 megawatt, and uh, in the 2030, 
And uh, so it will take time to, to develop in the uh, target uh, uh, technology and to uh, dig out the problem of target. And uh, if uh, we can have a 2.5 meg megawatt target, that means uh, for a commercial uh, system is enough for the future. And uh, of course, the target um, problem, yeah, is still there. And I cannot, uh, so it's a, it's a, uh, it's a liquid, uh, but uh, it's a still a window over there. So the I cannot uh, answer this question. It's a, it's need it needs time to to developing the problem, <laughs> the the technology, and the uh, magpie in um, uh, in Swiss Switzerland, and uh, has already um, tested. Uh, 0.8 uh, kilowatt uh, target. It's uh, almost the uh, same size. And we think uh, below this value, it's a uh, safety and uh, 2.5 megawatt, it's still, uh, still need, uh, still time to do, to do that. Okay, thank you very much. That's a, a good question. And maybe as well with solid target, uh, are you considering tungsten or, or anything else? Because for cooling capacity, it might be as well potentially easier with water. Uh, yeah, well, according to our uh, uh, simulation, and two hundred and fifty kilowatt now, it's a uh, it's okay. It's uh, doesn't matter. Uh, but for two point five, and uh, according to our simulation, it's okay. But uh, still need to verify or it's uh, validated. Validate. Okay, so one step at a time. Very good. Yeah. So then we have um, a question so from uh, uh, Vitek Krasny, uh, who gave a presentation. He's an expert on gamma. So try to see as well in your answer how you can uh, look at uh, so the plug power required so to, to run a 2 GeV 10 milliamps proton beam. So what's the plug power required oh, for this proton beam? Plug power. Uh, for 20, uh, uh, you mean 20 megawatt plug power, uh, it's around, uh, uh, so uh, 30 to 40 megawatt, I think. Uh, but uh, uh, we still and to try to reduce this uh, uh, value. And uh, uh, for example, we have uh, uh, the efficiency of uh, uh, solids, Solid solid state uh, amplifier has a uh, is is uh, raising up now, and uh, we uh, reduce the bank backup uh, uh, power for the uh, beam compensation, and uh, uh, lots of things we did for that. And uh, yes, uh, I I I think you wanted to see the economist economist, but. Uh, uh, you know, it's uh, still in the primary uh, state. Yeah. Yeah. I see, I was asking this question because I know what is in Dray Park the efficiency of generating a high power proton beams, and this efficiency is quite low with respect to what what kind of uh, uh, plug power they need. So I, I hope that, that you would improve considerably this uh, this number. Yeah, I see. I see. Yeah. Uh, I. Uh, I cannot, uh, so because I, uh, indeed we didn't uh, very serious to calculate this number. And uh, uh, yes, this value uh, will reduce the, uh, how to see, uh, when the technology developed. So we don't seriously uh, think about this one, we think, uh, Whatever, how much plug power you need to reduce uh, 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 nuclear waste, and if we can use uh, and use the few of unused uh, resources, and we can get the benefit from that. So, uh, ten percent of twenty percent of the re receive the uh, plug power, we don't think it's a. Uh, in, indeed, I don't think it's a very critical. That's my opinion, sorry. 
And and Vitek, maybe I will let you as well introduce looking at the, the, the photon being driven one. So your second question. Yeah, you see, it, we are starting studying, you see, the system in which you would uh, drive the system by uh, 10 megawatt or more of uh, photons. And you oh. see, when when you come to a, a, a tens of megawatt beams, there is an a, a, a inherent uh, limits coming from proton beams because of space charge and you see all kinds of things that even for the continuous beam, it's it's very difficult to go to very high power mm -hmm. beam. And we are considering now the photon beams that would drive uh, such a scheme. And of course, you would not get uh, 20 uh, neutrons per photon, but if you run 10 MeV photons in the uh, giant diaper resonance and also in the region of the fission, then uh, uh, if you calculate the number of neutrons per megawatt power, it's very comparable to the uh, to the proton uh, to the proton beam. So my question is: Has this ever been considered, and uh, uh, whether uh, uh, you know of any uh, attempt going in this uh, direction? That I don't know. You see, so. Yeah, I see, and uh, I know somebody uh, see also see the photon uh, beam driving. Uh, uh, I, I'm not uh, familiar with this uh, topic, but uh, uh, in my memory that uh, photon to neutron, uh, so the ratio is uh, very low. And, uh, uh, but we didn't uh, calculate or simulate uh, what's the benefit or merits, which one is uh, better or it's uh, much more cheaper or much more save the energy. Sorry, I, we didn't do that before. I can just tell you that we are starting this kind of study. And uh, you see, in terms of number of neutrons or uh, per, uh, per per proton or per photon, you are much more much better with respect to photons. But when you calculate in terms of megawatt power of the beam, which goes yeah. to the resonance, the, uh, uh, the factor is only two or four at, at, at maximum, you see. And on top of that, there is one aspect that uh, it probably you would appreciate is that when it has to do with the long lived fission products, there are certain products that you can transmute only with photons, that you cannot transmute with protons. So just, just to tell you that, you see, I, I, was, yeah, saying, yeah. I was hoping that you would tell me that you know some studies, you see, going into this direction such that we are not entering this, you see, without the knowledge that you have and we don't have, you see, in the Gamma Factory project. But yeah, I see. Uh, yeah, the, the 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 key point is how to produce the neutrons, and so that uh, that means how to produce the photons, and uh, so all the things uh, finally decided. I mean, uh, determined by the uh, how to say the the power, and how to remove the uh, heat and uh, from the target, and if you you have the target. And uh, so as uh, low energy means, uh, there is a lot of uh, uh, heat uh, deposit in the materials. It's, uh, uh, but uh, I, I don't know. And uh, maybe we can see that later. Okay, thanks a lot. Exactly, Thank it's a you. good idea for collaboration. So I think, excellent. So um, then we have um, um, a question. So if we follow up as well on the question and answer, uh, actually not really if a question, but from uh, Didier Duré. So uh, maybe you could explain. Uh, so what is the KEF? Yeah, yeah. KEF that means, and uh, uh, so you're in the reactor and uh, uh, if uh, one the, uh, uh, The nuclear depart into two parts. <laughs> it will produce a neutron, and uh, so the nuclei absorb or uh, capture a neutron will uh, 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 fission will be fission, mm -hmm. and so if uh, uh, produce the neutron and absorb the neutron or disappear the neutron, or we see. And it's the equivalent, it's equal, that means uh, critical. And uh, so if uh, that means the cave uh, is one. 
and uh, so if less one uh, less than one that means and uh, the produced neutron is less than uh, captured the neutron so that means uh, the nuclide uh, if uh, uh, so the chain reaction will uh, slow down and uh, disappear finally and it, if kf larger than one that means and uh, more and more neutrons will be produced. The, the, the more neutrons, that means uh, more reactions, that means uh, 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 very uh, uh, rapid or fast or rapid uh, uh, reactions will happen and uh, superheat or uh, so that's like a, a nuclear a nuclear bomb. So that's a key, 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 key larger than one. So the KEFS is very important. And uh, for a normal reactor, the KEFF equal to one. And for different uh, power level, and uh, it's almost, it's always one. And uh, if you wanted to read the uh, uh, reactor's uh, power uh, 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 level, and you will make the KEFF, it's a little bit larger than one, and the uh, the power of the reactor will raising up, and you uh, you you make it uh, equal to one uh, again, and so the power of the reactor will goes up. So something like that. <laughs> I hope I I make it clear. Sorry. It was it was really good. So it was an excellent uh, also question, and and thank you, Didier Duret. So effectively, so we'll put all the PDF uh, presentation as well on the link that I will share as well. So this is the one on the, um, the Forum of uh, International Physics, uh, Physics Matter. And uh, we will answer also your second question. So uh, is multi-beam accelerator solution? So it was a bit related to the earlier question. Multi-beam accelerator. Is it- A range it... of fuel can be used, yes. Yeah, it, there is a, uh, um, so, I mean, optimized uh, uh, ratio, I think. And uh, so that means, uh, depend on the how long time you will leave the fuse in the reactor. And uh, so, you know, you know, the fuel cycle, and uh, depend on the how to reduce or partitioning the um, how high radiative uh, 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 span fuel. If uh, the radiative uh, is uh, too high and it cannot be handled, and uh, it, it's also trouble. And if uh, uh, if uh, if uh, this one stayed in the uh, reactor. Uh, uh, need a long time, uh, that material has a trouble. And if the key EFF is uh, too slow, and that means you need uh, much more beam power, that's also some trouble. So yes, there, there is a balance between a lot of uh, parameters. We are working on that and uh, to, to find out uh, uh, very good, uh, uh, optimized, uh, um, uh, how to see uh, solutions, how to make it. And uh, so, but uh, it also need, uh, so that's a way to an uh, ideal uh, uh, fuel cycle, but uh, it's still a long way. And we need a lot of work to do that, uh, including the ther theoretical uh, and the simulation and uh, Chemical things, a lot of things need to be done, and to 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 support our uh, uh, solutions. Very good, excellent. So we have uh, so now one more question as well from uh, so Olga Meyer, so asking about uh, the wide range of fuel so that can be used in the ADS. So we mentioned this a bit briefly before, but are there some trade off? Uh, or difference in optimization, so for the maximization of the transmutation for long-lived waste versus maximizing electrically the energy which is generated. Yeah. So just like I I I, I said uh, 
just now. And uh, so uh, long life waste is only a little in the in the reactors and for ADS driving system. And uh, it's a uh, it's almost have a very um, serious. I mean, do very uh, uh, impacts on the uh, how to say electric energy generation. And uh, so the only things how much power uh, does uh, the accelerator will used and. Uh, so you can imagine if this system and uh, operate, and that means there is almost no fuel you you need, and uh, one year you only uh, indeed you you will only uh, uh, consume uh, uh, around one ton uh, fuel per one gigawatt uh, uh, reactor. So that means maybe you can make it uh, uh, the cycle in the campus or on the site of the nuclear power plant. And that's one of, uh, uh, how to say, uh, in, uh, uh, case and uh, how to use this system. I mean, so all of things you mentioned, it's indeed it's about the, uh, how to say, economical things. And uh, just as uh, uh, rector's uh, experts said, and if you use a uh, accelerator, that means you will cost a lot for the, for the system. But if you use all the fuels, that means you will save a lot uh, for the system. And you can burn the waste from other uh, reactors. You can, that means you can gain a lot from uh, other reactors. So, uh, so in my memory, uh, or uh, according to my opinion, that all the things and uh, depend on the uh, mutual of uh, the technology. And uh, so ADS technology is still and uh, uh, going, and uh, I mean, it's a very uh, primary. And uh, so we needed to, so if we, has, if we have a first demonstration or prototype for, for the whole systems, and we can see a lot, and I hope I can, answer your question in the future, maybe in 10 years. I'm sorry. I mean, that's good. At least with simulation, we can compare when so we will have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, you know, the simulation is also very complicated. <laughs> but it's I not agree. easy to do. Yeah. When you mentioned to do the best out of accelerator and the best out of reactor, so where is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the yeah. duty cycle, and really to, I mean, duty cycle, you are CW, so for you, that's also another challenge, yeah, compared to the ESS, yeah. And indeed, it costs a lot to use superconductor, for sure, but this is depending on the energy that you want. So, yeah, thanks uh, for, for the question. So, we have another uh, question also from uh, John Bird, indeed, so from Argon. So, thanks a lot to be with us as well. And then the question, while you were speaking about the RFQ, so speaking about accelerator and this excellence of the RFQ as well, so you have been working apparently together as well with the IMP. Um, and then, so so what do you see as the biggest, as a bigger challenge as well? So for the accelerator, so the target or the reactor? So back to like maybe the answer that you gave previously, but maybe looking at another angle. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, so from, from uh, my uh, point of view and the, uh, the most talent still uh, the reactor. And if we can, uh, uh, for the target, if we can split uh, the, the beam into several uh, several parts or beam lines into the reactor, and so the target's problem will be resolved. 
And the, the trouble still is how to make it uh, the reactor um, uh, stable and without beam trip or as a short time as uh, the beam trip time as short as possible. So the reactor and uh, so according my colleague said, um, at least that this reactor can be done. So we, we think the most challenge is uh, the director. Thank you, John. Thank you for, for your team. Very nice, uh, excellent work uh, for the RFQ for IMP, you know, and it works very well. And just as I said uh, uh, just now, and uh, almost uh, no trouble with, uh, with the cavity of RFQ. So it's very stable. Thank you very much. And thank you for those collaborations. I think that's uh, an excellent follow-up. So then uh, we have uh, so from uh, Frank Mahauser as well. So to ask and to understand, so what are the largest problem experience so far running the low beta SI structure? So you spoke about indeed the AWR, so based on the CAF, so not CAFE, CAF. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, CAFE, KIF, yeah. <laughs> It's it's a China accelerator facility uh, front end. <laughs> exactly front end. <laughs> so uh, so reason? yeah, that's a very good question for 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 us. And so um, the stability of uh, uh, low beta SF structure. I mean, it's a uh, most a challenge for us. And uh, so you know we. Uh, we we spend almost uh, two or three years to how to make it a very uh, make it stable. I mean, so uh, microphonics and uh, so uh, um, um, uh, electro and uh, mechanical uh, oscillation and uh, some um, uh, contamination of uh, the surface of uh, SRF and. Uh, so some uh, e cringe and uh, some cringe because of uh, few dimension and uh, lots of things, and uh, so the stable are also still from uh, the SRF structures, I think, and uh, uh, but uh, fortunately uh, all the things can be, um, I mean can be overcome by some uh, um, uh, ways, uh, for example, from a, a low level RF system, and uh, we can uh, we can detune in the cavity if we lost the one, and uh, if uh, and uh, if uh, oscillation, and uh, we can recover the cavity performance uh, very quickly, and uh, we can all the things can be operated automatically. Uh, without uh, 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 manual uh, handling. And so, um, but uh, uh, we still think uh, up to now, the most challenge is still the uh, stability of uh, the system. Uh, I mean, the system is not only the superconducting uh, structure, also the I mean, the whole system, including the coupler, tuner, and uh, the cavity, and so <laughs> together. I but your system yeah. for the auto recovery. So any kind of machine learning and automatization somehow and somewhere that you are planning? Yes, yes. Yeah, we have uh, some machine learning uh, uh, applied in this machine. And uh, for example, um auto automatically uh, uh, be all up orbit uh, correction and it can be done uh, automatically by the by the machine itself and uh, but uh, for prediction of uh, uh, failure of a cavity um, it's it's on the way and it's uh, it's uh, quite trouble i mean it's quite difficult or complicated and uh, to predict one will have some trouble with the cavity. Yeah. That makes sense. And yeah, thank you. So this was really um, a really detailed and, and the answer 
for all those various uh, issues. So I think we're well answered. So thank you. Um, so then we have indeed a question um, asking if uh, it's impossible to have the target outside. So outside. Yes. Yeah, you have a very smart question. And uh, uh, we indeed to think about and make it uh, uh, outside of, of the, the reactor. And uh, maybe, and, uh, but, uh, but, you know, and that means the, um, the, the use of the neutron, you, that means you need to produce more neutrons and uh, it's only part of the neutrons can be used by the reactions in the reactor. And, uh, uh, that also means the, the vessel of the reactor will be uh, additional faster uh, neutrons to uh, ir irradiation. It, uh, that means you need a... so safety problems. So, of course, all the things can be discussed in the future, but uh, nowadays, and we still follow the uh, regular way to, to do the system. And uh, and maybe maybe all the things can be resolved in the future, and but uh, outside the uh, neutron source, it's uh, one of the possible solutions for the ADS, and still somebody to think about that. So thank you. And then we have uh, another so question. Yes, uh, from uh, Stinky. With, um, so thank you for the talk. And then, so what are the requirements for the low-level RF? Uh, so of the ADS accelerator, so you are not constructing. So how will it impact the performance on the accelerator? Because you were showing indeed for the downtime. Yeah, I can shortly oh, yes. answer uh, Chin uh, Chin's question. And uh, so indeed, uh, we, we don't think... Uh, so from uh, last uh, experience, and uh, we don't think a low level, low level RF is only the things to control the three uh, loops and uh, uh, frequency or, or, or um, um, how to say aptitude and something like that face. And uh, it uh, require more. Uh, indeed, I ask the low level, low level RF people to work more for the stability and uh, don't uh, depend on the the cavity and uh, you can handling all the things <laughs> happened <laughs> uh, the instability so we need some uh, uh, predict we need some uh, uh, how to say uh, uh, faster recovery uh, strategy and uh, uh, it's uh, I think, uh, uh, L L L a low level RF. It's a key pro key technology for the um, superconducting Linux, and uh, all the most of things can be resolved by this system. Thank you, Jing. Yeah, thanks for the question. And and you are using micro TCA and all, all low level RF. Or... No, we are developing the. Uh, uh, special uh, low level RF system, not uh, micro TC. Uh, we, uh, because our uh, problems, we need uh, uh, every cavity has its own uh, low level RF and it's individual. And uh, so uh, that means uh, that's the concept. No one should be important. No one. Uh, Everyone should be isolated from others. So that's uh, we we use this concept. Yeah, like this, you isolate the problem and you address it so specifically. Yeah, isolated from problems. If uh, some some uh, individual devices want want to die, okay, you you need to let let it to die, <laughs> and you cannot save it. You just uh, want need to work without this one. And uh, all without several ones, and uh, that's how we can make it more avail available of the whole system. So, the the available uh, things 
need to be resolved, not by some uh, reliable uh, devices. It's uh, resolved by the whole system's uh, uh, availabilities, uh, the system reliability, not one, and a, and a special one. Yeah. That's good. And I guess it's a bit like the SNS as well. So this uh, kind of approach. Yeah. Yeah, very good. So thanks a lot for the question. So any last question from my colleagues? And I see Alan. So maybe you want to give some of the word looking at from the Los Alamos point of view. Well, I have I do have a, a question. Uh, my list of questions has has uh, dwindled because everybody has been, at, uh, you know, asking great questions and, and I'm learning a lot. Um, but I, uh, in the United States, there is growing interest in small modular reactors. And this is largely be for political reasons, but also public acceptance. Um, for example, the non-proliferation, nuclear non-proliferation threat uh, is thought to be minimized by having a completely sealed modular reactor. Uh, so that it's not physic the fuel is not physically accessible um, from the outside. But but it seems to me that uh, ADS presents the opportunity to have beam access to that fuel and the possibility, if uh, in a properly designed integrated system, that you could you could um, uh, process the uh you know fuels in a modular reactor have you thought about that is there any such scheme to um to combine those two ideas ads and modular reactors yeah thank you for the question yeah yes a small uh, module reactors and uh, it's also developed uh, uh, i mean it's developing in china and uh, several uh, companies and uh, institutes are working on that. And uh, uh, we are thinking about uh, uh, how the uh, ADS works with uh, other types of uh, reactors also, and uh, module reactors, or, uh, or the how to uh, say, uh, uh, so uh, uh, molten salt or gas cooling or something. And uh, we think, and uh, so accelerator to driven uh, system can work with an, uh, any uh, type of uh, uh, reactors and uh, depend on how can we uh, split the beam into uh, several small parts. Uh, uh, so we are thinking about that. And uh, if it's uh, so, uh, uh, just the, uh, as I said, um, we just uh, wanted to test uh, the first step and, uh, and how the beam coupling with the reactor and uh, what is the limit of uh, the whole systems and uh, the, the target or the reactors. And uh, so the key trouble or key problems uh, or weak point in the system uh, is uh, so, uh, small module reactor, that's a new concept. And uh, uh, maybe in the future, we can think about how to work with that. And just uh, like uh, just now, uh, an, uh, another uh, expert said, uh, if we can uh, coupling the neutron from uh, uh, outside of the reactor, maybe for small module reactor, it's a uh, Part of possible, maybe a possible things to coupling from outside. Okay, so yeah, thank you for your suggestions. Maybe in the future we can think about how can um, work with uh, 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 SMR. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good point, very good point. So we have uh, one um, potential comment or question from uh, Terence Tarnowski. If you want to unmute, uh, unless it's not a question. 
Uh, I don't know if it might. So Terence, Tarnowski, are you there? Yes. Oh, yeah. I I didn't mean to uh, raise my hand, actually. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so no problem. So this is just to say yeah. hi. Yep. <laughs> yeah, but I, I think you learn a lot yeah. as well. Absolutely. Right. Thank you. Very good, very good. So um, I think it was, we passed a little bit. So the, the final time, there were so many questions and we've gone a lot uh, as well learned so during this uh, colloquium. So thanks a lot, uh, Professor uh, Yankee. It was really, really a lot of knowledge transferred and uh, and we are looking forward for the next step as well. So we met uh, at the IPAC and uh, every year then we have possibility to see the development. We're always uh, puzzled by how fast as well you can uh, achieve and deliver with respect to all the ADS, uh, but as well all the different projects as well in China, speaking about spallation as well for us in the ESS. So thanks a lot. Uh, so everyone has been uh, very encouraging and we have as well from uh, Zehra Sayer as well from Turkey. So who is uh, so thanking uh, uh, everyone so for the talk. So all the recording will be um, available. So from YouTube, uh, indeed. So next uh, week, um, middle of next week, I guess. And we will have possibility to see your slide as well. So Professor Heath would be nice to share them. We will disseminate as well. So through our web page, I recalled our um, physics matter page where all those 34 different colloquia are presented. And then I will uh, so now also share the screen so you would uh, um, see that the next uh, presentation so next uh, month so will be uh, provided thanks to uh, so professor Richard uh, Spencer so we'll go back to America and he was following as well with us so now he know the challenge on uh, what will be on his side but on a topic which is complementary but also excellent and so important for uh, using magnet as well with magnetic resonant imaging for the health aspect. So macromolecular mapping with the MRI, so beyond the free water. So that's gonna be on the 28th of September at the same time. So this is uh, what we will have uh, so for the next uh, challenge and the next uh, learning experience on this Physics Matter Forum. So thank you everyone so to have uh, joined us. So thank you very much. Uh, so live from China and sorry again for the time. Now it will be really past bedtime, more than midnight, I guess, uh, on your side. Thanks a lot for that. <laughs> and, thank, uh, you. For thank, thank you for your work. Well, Give us uh, the opportunity to, to share with, uh, discuss with all the experts. Thank you very much. And to exchange, this is what we really like. So yeah. thank you as well, Joe, you are there. So thank you for being uh, from the sea and above the sea. So <laughs> uh, we will then close now and uh, we'll meet then next month. Uh, so with uh, so Professor Spencer. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a good evening. <laughs>